Chalmette National Cemetery. No pets, no alcohol, no beverages, no metal detecting. Parking lot closes at 4 p.m. In this cemetery lies a very special person that fought in the American Civil War, and it was a woman. Let's dive right into the history on Sarah Rosetta Wakeman, also known as Lions Wakeman. Sarah Rosetta Wakeman was born in Bainbridge, New York on January 16, 1843, and she was the oldest of nine. While growing up, her family was really poor and could barely afford food or whatever they needed. After Sarah finished school in 1861, she got a job to help out her family. In 1862, Sarah noticed there was a way to make even more money and you had to be a man for this job. So what did Sarah do? She disguised herself as a man and took the job as a coal barge labor on the canal. This paid five dollars per trip. Five dollars in 1862 is a hundred and forty eight dollars ninety three cents in 2023. On her first trip back from the coal barge labor, Sarah encountered soldiers who were recruiting young men to enlist in the 153rd New York Volunteer Infantry. The price for joining was $153, which is $4,527.49 today. And Sarah saw this as an opportunity and joined the 153rd New York Infantry under Lyons Wakeman. Where did she come up with the name Lyons Wakeman? I don't really know. Fill me in the comments down below. During her time as a private soldier, Sarah Wakeman was having the time of her life. She was able to feed herself, loved being independent, sending money back home to her family. She was really happy and enjoying the moment. From July 1863 to February 1864, Sarah Wakeman was detailed to guard the old Capitol prison. There were a few women inside this prison serving time who got caught doing what Sarah Wakeman is doing by dressing up as a man to fight in the war. Women didn't have the rights during this time period to fight. While on duty, Wakeman, still disguised as a man, would write letters to her family a lot while inside the Capitol prison telling them stories of whatever she had to talk about while serving her country. Her family wrote back to her, thanking her for providing the family and whatever else that they needed. In February 1864, the 153rd New York Volunteer Infantry was sent to Louisiana to join the Red River Campaign. In April 1864, fought in the Battle of Sabina Crossroads and the Battle of Pleasant Hill, then endured a 70-mile forest march retreat in two days. As a result of the campaign, Wayman and other soldiers became sick with chronic diarrhea. Wayman entered the regiment hospital on May 3rd, then endured a 15-day overland journey to be administrated into the General Hospital in New Orleans, Louisiana. Weeks later, Sarah Wakeman died of acute diarrhea 
on June 19, 1864 at the age of 21 years old. Lyons Wakeman, the woman that was in the Civil War. It's crazy how she dressed herself as a man. Just so she could help out her family. Get that $150. From New York, now buried in Chalmette National Cemetery in Louisiana, in St. Bernard Parish region. There's obviously a lot of people here who tell stories. Most of them here are men. This is the only female that I know of that's buried here. There's probably more, but she's the one that sticks out the most. Anyways, pretty neat story in history in my opinion. Waitman's body was laid to rest in Chalmont National Cemetery in St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. If you go visit her gravesite, it will be listed under Lion's Wakeman. That is the name that she picked at the beginning of the story. This story wouldn't have been known if one of her relatives didn't stumble across an old letter from Sarah in the attic a century later after Sarah's death. There is a book called An Uncommon Soldier that talks about her life I will leave it in the video description if you want to check it out. I wonder why there hasn't been a movie made about her. Now for the million dollar question, do you think those men knew she was a woman or did Sarah play it off really good? Let me know in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. I'll see you guys in the next video in the next spot.